stellar pace there. She's really cranking up the pace now. Waitman struggling to keep up with her, but the two Brits miles ahead of the field so far. McGee now on the shoulder of the Polish runner. Has that bronze from two years ago and a lot of Irish hopes on her. But Laura Muir there looking absolutely fantastic. We know she grits her teeth when she gets to the stages where it starts to hurt. The pole now come back on McGee. There's a heavy battle for the third position and they're both closing in on Wakeman who's now tiring heavily. So Laura Muir looks set to win that title, but there's a tough battle for second and third. Laura Wakeman there and the pole, Enoi, looking very strong. And can McGee get that bronze she won two years ago? Now the pole making a ground. She looks back, knows she's comfortable. Laura Muir is the European champion. McGee also gritted right behind at this point. Enoi, surely too much of a big job to her to improve her position. We know how fast she is over the last 100, but Muir, what a masterclass from the Scots. The gaps opening up incredibly in this last 50 metres, the crowd roaring Muir home. What a sensational performance to defend a European 1500 metre title. Laura Muir in 408, and McGeehan, she punches the air with delight. But Sandra Berkovic is the story of the competition. Because just look at that. Under 60 meters. And a no throw. Well now, what can she do? A wonderful champion bidding for the fifth title. At last, one might say, that's the real Sandra Perkovic. So it is Perkovic after all who has achieved history by winning now a fifth consecutive European title. Took her a long time to get going. Let's see what she can do just as a throw for glory at the end. Well, <laughs> it's anticlimactic, isn't it? But nonetheless, here's a great champion. Five gold medals to go with those two Olympic golds, those two World Championship golds. She's the superstar of the discus of the last decade. And only managed to, to produce one decent throw here, but that's all she needed. At the moment with six gold medals to her name, Sandra Perkovic trying to match that here in Munich. 65-77, her best mark at the moment. She needs one meter and 16 centimeters to equal the event winning throw of Christian Prudence at the moment. She likes that, she rolls it down the field. That could put Sandra Perkovic of Croatia up in the gold medal position. That's the first outpouring of emotion we've seen for Sandra Perkovic. Prudence wouldn't like to play poker with the German athlete because she gave nothing away there. Sandra Perkovic strutting down the field, almost goading the home crowd here. They love Sandra Perkovic, she's a brilliant athlete, 67 metres, 95 centimetres. Puddence pushing herself to a personal best, bitter with the season's best, but they couldn't hold back the Croatian Sandra Perkovic. She's a star at home, they're a small nation, but they're passionate when it comes to sport and when it comes to their stars. Sandra Perkovic is surely going to have a hero's welcome when she heads home. Tiam back in uh, at 7, 63.75 by Johnson Thompson. So on schedule for a very decent performance here in this uh, heptathlon. 800 metres, which she's got a best of 207.64. So good to see that she's really back in top form. She might not win the gold medal, but she is back. Having a brilliant season, Commonwealth champion, world indoor champion, Nafi Tiam, nodding along. This is not her event, but she's got a huge gap, particularly crucial for that, with some brilliant javelin throwing. With her first throw in the javelin, it looked like it had opened the way for Johnson Thompson. Carolyn Schaefer heading for the bronze medal, urged on by the crowd here. Nafi Tiam a long way back. Even so, that gap 
between her and Johnson Thompson, pretty much unbreakable. But what a very fine run indeed, and a very fine season by Katrina Johnson Thompson, who comes through and she'll take the silver medal. But Schaefer also, following Kachiba, is finishing very strongly. She will take the silver medal. And here comes the champion. Here comes Nappy Tiam to win the gold medal in the 800 meters. Well, that's not exactly great, 800 meter running, but look at that, there's the result. 6.816 for Tiam. So here goes Carlin, Sulek and Vitz, those in particular who are battling. So the uh, Swiss Carlin, 5.604 after six events. Her lifetime best, 2.17 from Gutsis, the specialist hypo meeting three years ago, very close, just a tenth of that in Eugene, where she set a new national record. So if she achieved that lifetime best, she'll get 6,463 points. But Sulek, maybe she can go a few seconds faster. 207.18 in Eugene, so 10 seconds on paper. So that's why my prediction is that Sulek is the favorite to be lifted up into that silver spot. And uh, Vince, just maybe she can challenge also. We've got Bianca Salming out front there, who's uh, developing into a great international heptathlete. But uh, with some strengths clearly in the high jump and the javelin and some other events to work on. So uh, 63-43 as they came through the bell. Just having a look here at the prediction. So Carlin still in a good position and uh, fairly close behind Sulek, who's the first of the two Polish runners in the red and white. But so, so close. At this point, uh, you can see 60 points separating. Krishan also doing well, coming in in sixth place overall. And she needs to be nine seconds ahead of uh, Sulek to try and get a medal. Carlin the more likely to drop down. We'll see how she hangs on on this second lap. Certainly that gap remaining around the same with uh, Bits also trying to move up. Nafi Tiam, well, she can afford to job home, to be honest. But Sulek now going to come through. Carlin trying to summon some strength and some fight to hold on to her medal. Great performance, though, from Adriana Sulek, who's had a terrific season. Yeah, so Nafi Tiam is now a two-time Olympic, two-time world and two-time European champion. Simply incredible.